What's up guys, it's Jason Thrift Trader coming back to you with another video from the QBC Porter's Storage Unit. Today's video, we go through the second half of the boxes before we load them up in the box truck, just skimming the top inch of every single box, just to get an idea as to what could possibly be in this storage unit. It's been incredible so far. I must say this is one of the better scores that I've had. It really is. Before we get started in this video though, I have a couple of announcements. Firstly, thank you so much for those of you that are new to the channel that have subscribed. We have had over 300 subscriptions in just a couple of days. So thank you so much to every single one of you that hit that subscribe button. It definitely helps the channel. For those of you that aren't subscribed, just click the button. It's the easiest way to help support the channel and keep this thing going for us. All right, guys, so thank you so much for those of you that already have subscribed and thank you for those that are going to subscribe. Secondly, previously we had our auctions on our Trader Auctions YouTube channel that is now moving back to this channel so look forward to a weekly live auction here on this channel we should be doing it once a week if not a couple of times a month so look forward to those anyways guys enough about all of this let's just get straight into the boxing and see what the heck we find today look at him he's just digging <laughs> uh, uh, oh oh buddy what else is in there? No, uh, whoa. <laughs> Papa's here with us. He's head deep into a box there. And uh, I think I think he's found a tub full of ammunition. Oh, look at what you're pulling out. Right now as we speak. Look at there. What, what's the brand on it? Oh, that looks good. It's a heavy sucker. Scully. Scully, look at that. Oh my <laughs> goodness. A Western fringe with native beading jacket right there. Boom. This right here, this is probably 100 to 200 bucks pretty easy. I can almost guarantee it. We're, what we're about to do is all of these boxes that we have left in here, as many as we can, we're gonna line, line this hallway on both sides and we're gonna go through them. We're just gonna go, just skim the top of them because we don't have a lot of time today. We seriously have to, uh, we have to, we have to get this stuff loaded up. What is that? I don't know. Look here. Wrangler. It's Wrangler? Yeah. Look what this says. Montana Silversmiths Sterling Silver. There you go. Sterling. Well, I'm going to tell you what. What? He was a pretty good size. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, not really. He wasn't much bigger. He was a good size. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, are you tired yet? Oh, heck no. I'm good till midnight. <laughs> <laughs> I am wore out, and this is why. Look at this. Oh my goodness. That's not even all of it. There's still more in the storage unit. Um, it's but truck tie full. I don't think you're going to get it all in there. I'm going to try. It's just a 10 by 10. Surely we can get yeah, it in there. All this crap come out of one tip. How'd they do that? Uh, floor to ceiling. Uh, yeah. So take a look at this, guys. Okay, first box. Yay, first box. Um, this box is just full of kitchen decor stuff, but we did look at these, and there's a bunch of them. These are old. That is a Bakelite handle, and these are uh, Takashi. So if we find a good set of those, that's about 100, 150 bucks. So. I mean, everything in here has got potential. This right here, made in Japan. It's a Japan-made cookie jar. Cookie jar, yeah. And that right there looks like pottery. So, and this, like, I, we're just scratching the surface of every single one of these boxes. This right here is um, old dude's paperwork. He was uh, in the military. For a while Civil and then service. and but he also was in the military yeah, right yeah. um so military and then he worked civil service as a, a civilian uh at the air force base so then we have a ton of this stuff what do you call this stuff? lace lace freely freely girly girly freeliness and this stuff's vintage guys this is some old stuff 
that whole box is packed full of that. And here we've got dolls. We've got what is this? Fenton, brand new hand painted Fenton in here. Here's more hand painted Fenton. Oh man, that's just incredible. The whole box, guys. I mean, like, look all the way down there just so much that we have not seen look how big that box is it's probably three foot tall then this um is a lot of personal pictures, pictures and stuff there is uh there's also books in there in this one i believe it's a lot more pictures and stuff yeah. but it's not just personal stuff look this one right here Who's it signed by? Roy Rogers. Roy Rogers. Signed by Roy Rogers. So it's not just personal pictures. It's also uh, wall decor. And then this box is packed full of this stuff here. Let me show you. Dickens collectibles, hand-painted porcelain lighted house. It's a whole, the whole thing is in here. The whole village. village. Yeah. That's, uh, at least that's what... Christmas village. Yeah, at, at least that's what it's telling us. And then you got a bunch more dolls. This girl right here, this is a Chatty Chatty Baby by uh, 1962. Here's the pull string here. I'm not going to pull it, but uh, Lord knows what else is in here. Just have no clue. Uh, what? Let's look in here. Maybe something good. I doubt it's too light. Unless it's hundred dollar bills. It could be. <laughs> Graves Floral Company, Shawnee, Oklahoma. That's old. Oh wow. It's just falling apart in there. Florals. Probably from a wedding. There's one more thing I wanted to look at. Look, look in here. What's this? Oh apricot honey. Luxurious body soap. There you go. And there's so much more we haven't seen. So much. We're not going to go through it. Guys, we have unopened presents. Can you imagine that? And what is it? It says on this tag here, it says something about a vase. Something vase. So, I don't know. And then, we got a bunch more stuff in here what's this oh i think that's uh fitz and floyd stuff village carolers huh yeah omnibus that's uh fitz and floyd crazy and then this box this box is packed full of quilts and stuff just random knickknacks pillows and then this box this box says pictures, so we didn't really go into detail. I haven't looked through them. Uh, probably we might find something interesting in there as well. Then this box, plum full of pots and pans. Here's another doll. And this box, packed full of goodies. It's all it's all wrapped up. Here, let's open this one. Open that. Uh, it said oil lamps, so we're hoping we well, find that's some. Oh, that's the globe. I can tell right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the globe. So well, we might find some good. A bunch of them down in there. Yeah. Might find some good oil lamps in there. This box, plum full of flipper floppers. What's in this box? Oh, yeah, we saw that. Oh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Oh man, maybe we'll find what those belong to. Well, Never know. What are you gonna do with all those shells? Can you get rid of those things? Can you sell them? Uh, I'm gonna just um no, I don't sell them. I hold on to them, just because. Might be good barter and trade at some point in life. <laughs> uh, this right here is just packed full of even more breakables. Lord knows what. Uh, kitchenware it looks like and then over here this box again more 
more kitchenware stuff, but we, we haven't even, there's, I don't know. I like this though. This is really cool. It reminds me of like, you Retro, know, 70s, yeah, 50s. 50s, yeah, 1950s diner, yeah. you know. This thing right here has got pillows and looks like belts. That's potential for sterling. This one too. That looks like sterling for sure. Yeah. So there's that. Blankets. Lord knows what else in there. We got VHS and DVDs right there. We've dug through all uh, these boxes. You're not going to get to see these here. There's a lot of really good stuff, just like you're seeing in these other boxes, in all of these and all of these, but we're not going to show those to you today. And uh, right back in there is a safe. But it's empty. I was really hoping that it wasn't. <laughs> We've seen all that down there. You yep. videoed it. This, yep. This is what's left. Yep. Yep. Guys, if uh, that stuff right there uh, was from last video, so you guys take a look at that if you haven't already. So this box, it's another three foot box, and it's full of kitchen stuff. Don't know if it's all food or what what else is down below here, but you just never know. Something we'll have to go through. This thing packed full of nice quilts, blankets, and books. Lots of books in here too. So there's that right here. This thing's full of stuff that's brand new. It said, uh, it said uh, "What did it say? Gifts." on the on the box so there's sweater organizer here's some kind of blanket sherpa blanket just all sorts of random stuff in here Got a quilt in the bottom. another quilt in the bottom quilts and blankets it looks like quilts and blankets we have found more fenton than you could shake a stick at in this in this storage unit. We haven't even scratched but the surface of every single box. What did we decide was in here? I don't remember. Oh yeah, pots, pots and pans. Oh, those that's a longer burger basket, that little one there. Yeah. That's pretty neat. And I think that one down there on the corner is another longer burger basket. I know I'm saying it wrong. I think longer burger. <laughs> Uh, what is this? Another quilt. another quilt. Dang. That's an old one. I'm going to have a bunch of these quilts by the time it's all said and done. What's in the bottom of that? Right there. Oh, flowers. Joy. Okay. <laughs> Guys, don't worry. I know we're just skimming the top of all this, but we're going to show all of this to you. This feels like cashmere. It really does. Cool. I know. It feels like cashmere. Yeah, all those down in there. Oh, oh, look, guys. These are brand new storybook knits. Uh, I looked these up. That's $60 a piece. And that's, these are native, so they might even be even more than that. Like Southwest print. These are QVC, guys. What's that? I have no idea. It oh, it's soft. It's what it is. Here, I'm going to take that and take a nap in the truck yeah, before, we, before we load up. <laughs> All right, guys. And in this box, we got some kind of pillow. And uh, this is a nice bag of some sort. Looks brand new. This bag right here looks potentially Vera Bradley. Who knows? Basket. And a dressmaker sewing machine down there. Looks like it's still new in the box. Wow. I think that's the first time I've seen the bottom of a box tonight. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's something that you can actually handle. Yeah. It, it wasn't too bad. You might be asking yourself, why are you so winded, Jason? Well, we got all of this right here cleared out. And uh, it's been a doozy. Okay. This thing looks like it's packed full of dolls. Gosh, I hope some of these are worth something. Bradley's. I'll have to tell my brother he's got a doll. 
a lot of them in there. A bunch. This is all, all dolls. Yep. The whole dang thing. She took good care of them too, man. Well, they do. They just bought. They are. <laughs> this one right here is a bunch of knick-knack patty wax. Got some men's shoes in here. These are Johnston and Murphy wingtips. Other randomness. Got picture frames. Probably pictures too. No telling. No telling in here. This is a nice little coffee carafe. Tiger. Never heard of that brand. So there's that. This thing's plum full of new stuff. Just like every other box. Look, brand new with tags. What is this? From TJ Maxx. Nautica Sleepwear. Size small. $55. Nah, she paid $25. What's in here? Uh, let's look. Rip it open, Papa. What is it? I don't know. I want to see. Dolls? Looks like it. Dang! Bratz dolls. What year is that? That's from... Don't know. Don't know what year. I don't know if they even make Bratz anymore. That's cool. Yeah, we got all sorts of goodies in here. No telling. No telling. Okay. And... Here's this box, packed full of Pampered Chef and other goodies. Not sure what that says. Can't tell. Open that. If I can, my hands is about frozen still. <laughs> Not four degrees in here. Oh, it ain't that bad. Not is it nice. anything worth anything? Looks like Mikasa to me. It's not stamped or marked, but that looks like etched glass. Mikasa, probably. Interesting. There's just no telling what we're going to find in here. Nice Pyrex, it looks like. Probably packed full of Pyrex. I see three, three Pyrex right there. Yep, Pyrex here. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good stuff, buddy. And then in this box, this has got a lot of personal photos in it. Um, we're not gonna, obviously we're not gonna go through these because they are a bunch of personal photos, but it's not just photos either. See that? Don't have a clue, but it looks nice. So, there's that. There is that. All right. So, yeah. Guys, like I said, we just skimmed the surface of every single one of these boxes and uh, have no clue what's actually deep down inside of these. But uh, we still got all of this right here. You guys haven't seen a single thing in here. We're done for the day. We're gonna, well, y'all are done for the day. <laughs> we're sure we're done for the day. <laughs> Papa's ready to eat and get home, and I don't blame him, so am I. All right, we are going to finish up packing this stuff into the truck, and you guys will get to see unboxing after unboxing of this stuff on the channel. So look forward to that. I'm certain it's going to be fantastic stuff, because what we've seen just from the surface, it's pretty incredible. So anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave us some love down in the comments section below, because we really do enjoy reading your comments, and, uh... Send money. Send money. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it. Until next time, catch you later.